Hello and welcome to this walkthrough video for the Techovation M Compressor. M Compressor is an advanced spectral audio compressor capable of both upward and downward compression. It delivers pristine, distortion-free dynamic processing across any kind of sound. Regular compressors adjust the overall signal level based on its relationship to the compressor threshold. Instead of the overall signal level, M Compressor works with the signal spectrum. Individual frequencies are compressed based on their levels relative to the spectral threshold curve. The spectral thresholds are what allows M Compressor to operate artifact free. The shape of the spectral threshold is determined by the spectral contour of the input signal, and it dynamically changes with the input. This ensures balanced compression across the spectrum without over compressing the low frequencies and under compressing the highs, which is typical for regular compressors. It also preserves the original tonal balance of the input signal. For cases where changes to the tonal balance are desired, the plugin also offers a tilt control for the spectral thresholds. It allows to apply more compression to one part of the spectrum while compressing the rest of the spectrum less. In addition to the traditional downward compression, M Compressor also offers a spectral take on the upward compression. In downward compression, the signal level is reduced when it exceeds the threshold. Upward compression works in the opposite way. The signal level is boosted when it falls below the threshold. This is particularly useful when you want to bring out the ambiance in the signal or achieve more aggressive sounding compression. Let's explore the M Compressor's features and use it on a few samples to see how impactful this plugin can be. As mentioned earlier, the M Compressor offers both downward and upward compression, so there are two thresholds available in the plugin, one for the downward compression and one for the upward. You can drag each down and up, or type in the values or drag the numbers to make changes to them. You can also link them, so moving each will also move the other one. Dragging the space between these thresholds also moves both of them at the same time. The compression amount is directly influenced by the intensity level. The intensity parameter in M Compressor is your key to shaping the character of compression. It controls the amount of smoothing applied to the spectral adjustment produced by the compressor. Lower settings create a smoother compression effect with a gentle knee and a narrower compression range. On the other hand, higher settings result in more pronounced compression with a harder knee and an unlimited compression range with minimal spectral smoothing. The attack parameter in M Compressor controls how quickly the compressor responds to increases in the signal level, providing you with precise control over the compression's timing. Longer attack times allow more of the original transients to pass through unchanged, resulting in a snappier sound. This effect can be further amplified by increasing the punch parameter. And the release parameter in M Compressor determines the duration it takes for compression to cease after the signal level decreases. It's a crucial control for shaping the compression's timing. The punch feature in M Compressor allows you to shape the transients by controlling the attack response of the compressor. Low punch settings result in the softening of the transients, while higher values emphasize the original transients that are let through during the compressor attack. It's especially useful for sounds with sharper transients, such as drums. It helps the sound cut through the mix more easily and makes it punchier. To make level matching easier while you tweak the M Compressor settings, it offers the Auto Gain mode. When enabled, Auto Gain continuously measures the signal levels before and after compression and automatically applies the appropriate makeup gain. It's good to note that the Auto Gain continuously adjusts the makeup gain, so it is recommended to only enable it while you are tweaking the compressor settings. When you disable Auto Gain, it sets the makeup gain parameter to the latest measured value. You can also use the makeup for manual gain compensation. The Spectrum Analyzer and M Compressor visualizes the input signal spectrum, the downward and upward spectral thresholds, and the spectral adjustments performed by the compressor. When the input spectrum represented by a white line rises above the downward compression threshold represented by a gold line, the spectral levels are reduced towards the threshold. The amount of the reduction depends on the compressor settings, down ratio, intensity, and is visualized in red. When the input spectrum, white line, falls below the upward compression threshold, blue curve. The spectral levels are boosted up towards the threshold. The amount of the boost depends on the compressor settings, up ratio, intensity, and is visualized in green. In the middle from right to left, we have the diff and sidechain buttons, mix control and stereo link as well. The diff feature in M Compressor enables you to listen to the distinction between the processed and original signals. 
This feature allows you to audibly perceive the alterations and enhancements made to your audio, making it easier to fine-tune your compression settings and achieve the desired sound quality. And the sidechain control allows you to listen to the sidechain input of the compressor. This feature is valuable for understanding how the sidechain input is affecting the processing of your audio and enables you to make precise adjustments to achieve the desired effect. Mix Control allows to use M Compressor for parallel compression. A common scenario would be to set up M Compressor for an aggressive sound and then blend it with the original signal by lowering the mix. The makeup gain is applied to the compressed signal before the mix, so you can match the before and after levels for seamless parallel blending. And the stereo link control influences how M compressor responds to stereo signals. When set to zero, the stereo channels are treated completely independently, a method known as dual mono compression. At 100%, the spectral thresholds for the stereo channels are linked together, preserving the original stereo image after compression, a technique known as stereo compression. Values between 0 and 100% allow you to adjust the level of channel independence when compressing stereo signals. The external sidechain switch allows you to trigger compression using an external signal. Make sure to consult your DAW manual for guidance on configuring the external sidechain input for the plugin. When the external sidechain is enabled, the downward spectral threshold level is influenced by the sidechain input level, while the shape of the spectral threshold is still determined by the main input. Next to it, there is also the sidechain high-pass filter control, which allows you to apply a high-pass filter to the sidechain. On the right side of the plug-in, there are three meters. The input and output meters display the input and output signal levels in decibels. The middle meter, labeled diff, functions as the gain reduction or boost meter, showing the difference between the overall signal level before and after compression. M Compressor comes with the common useful Techivation plug-in features as well, such as the internal bypass button, A-B comparison section, undo-redo, scalable UI, and presets. Now let's test the M Compressor on a track and see what it does to it. Still I run toward the wind and let the challenge draw me in cause I want more. Oh, we are all smile upon my face cause there's excitement in the chase this I know yeah I'm going for the ride and by myself I am alive and I soar still I run towards the wind and let the challenge draw me in cause I want more oh we are all M Compressor is now available on the Techovation website. Try it out and experience the true spectral compression. Thank you for watching this video.